Good afternoon, my friends. I am Adam, and welcome to my anti-sweat class setup video. So basically, I'm just gonna show you the class I've been using the most throughout the beta, which is the MP5, as you can probably tell by looking at the thumbnail. So I'll just take you through it quickly, and sorry, what was that? You like my T-shirt? Oh, wow, thank you. This is a, a T-shirt designed by my girlfriend, Katie, and I will link her Instagram in the description if you would like to look at some more fantastic designs like this one. I love this t-shirt. It's my favorite one that I own. Back to the MP5. So I'm just going to show you what I've been using and other stuff you can use in place of it if you want to. I'll try and keep it brief without rushing but I can't promise anything because uh, I might go too in depth but I can I can just edit it out so we're good. So the first attachment is the Millstock Reflex. I've been using this one because it looks the most like the one from Black Ops 1, which uh, in my opinion is one of the cleanest looking reflex sites in the franchise. But you can use any one you want. This one is the most subject to change because it doesn't take away anything from your gun. I don't like the iron sights, that's why I've got one on. Anyway, the next attachment is the sound suppressor. This is on because the radar works as normal in this game. So whenever you fire an unsuppressed weapon, you will appear on the radar. It's not like Modern Warfare. So I've got it on because I don't want to be on the radar. I want to be staying off the radar to keep myself covered and stealthy. I haven't opted for this one because it takes away your damage range, which as an SMG, it's already got very little as it is. So you want to be keeping the range as high as you can without taking away stuff you want, like staying off the radar. So the next attachment I've got for barrel is the 10.8 inch paratrooper because this essentially gives you back the damage range you took off to put the suppressor on, in a sense. And it also gives you an extra 80% muzzle velocity is the speed at which the, uh, the bullets come out of the barrel at. So you will be able to kill people at longer ranges quicker because your bullets will travel there faster. This takes off the sprint move speed and aim move speed. Luckily, we've got a bit of wiggle room in that bracket because it's an SMG. It's already light enough as it is. So if it was an assault rifle, I'll be focusing on handling and like speed because they are already slow as they are. But this is an SMG, so it can it, you can afford to be more mobile and take away stuff but essentially keep it still fast. The body attachment I've got is the steady aim laser because as a uh, as a, an SMG, you're gonna be probably in those long range, um, not long range, my bad. You're gonna be in those short range gunfights more often. So this gives you an extra hip fire accuracy, which is always nice on an SMG. You could also put on this one, which gives you an extra 15% added on top uh, hip fire accuracy, but it takes away your aim speed. Actually, that one's probably, probably just as good as the steady aim. I just got it on because I don't want to take away too much speed from the gun. The next attachment for for the underbarrel is the uh, field agent grip. Basically this gives you both vertical and horizontal recoil control whereas this just gives you the one. So this gives you more and then your shooting move speed will focus on it later on as well. So essentially we're going to be getting extra recoil control which is always nice. It's good for beaming people across the map if you can do it. I can't as demonstrated by the other day's video. <laughs> But um, anyway, yeah, the magazine I've gone for is the 40 round drum mag. You can put fast mag. Fast mag is a classic uh, attachment that's always been in the Black Ops games. But I've gone for the extended mag because 30 bullets isn't enough for me personally. So whenever I leave a gunfight, I've got like 10 bullets left for the fight and one person. Someone else runs around the corner and I haven't got enough to kill them too. So they just finish me off immediately. So this, gi this also gives you more starting ammo and ammo capacity. So you won't be in those situations where you're running around looking for someone's gun because you also run out of bullets as often. And the handle I've gone for, this is the most important attachment on this gun. This is the, uh, the drop shot hand grip. So while also giving you flinch stability, so that's basically when you get shot at, you will flinch less while firing back. That's also very useful. But also the drop shot hand grip allows you to drop shot people. So basically, before Black Ops 4, you could drop shot, which is where you went prone and shot people while laying down your sight. So you, you'd go prone and you, you aim, you, your ADS would stay up as you went down. But in Black Ops 4, they took that away. So whenever you went prone while laying down sight, you would come out of the, uh, you would come out of ADS and do this animation to get on the floor. I, I thought that that was the case with this game too until I unlocked this and saw someone else use it in a kill cam. This is the anti-meta attachment to use. So this is the, the anti-sweat attachment that's gonna make the class all come together. So people aren't gonna be drop showing as much, so they won't expect you to do it. So by putting this on, you give that ability to yourself and you can surprise people more often. So you'll definitely get a lot of kills by surprise with this attachment on the, on the gun. And the last, the last uh, attachment is the commando assembly 
stock. So this basically gives back the shooting move speed I was on about earlier and also gives you an increased aiming move speed which was already taken away from the other attachments. In a way you're keeping the SMG as fast as it is what but you're adding other stuff to it like damage range, muzzle velocity and the drop shot ability which is ever so important. I can't even stress that enough. That's all the attachments I've got to show you. I've, I've kept it quite brief to be fair. And uh, the other stuff you can do what you want with. So I've got the um, the Burst Diamati pistol, like the B23R from Black Ops 2, which I used all the time. Uh, the Stim Shot, which basically recharges your health quicker. And also I've got the Frag on, because the Frag seems to be very consistent at the moment. And then I've got the Field Might, because I like to have the radar, like seeing people on the radar. Uh, you can have the Proximity Mine on, that's always a good one. So is the Gas Mine, I've seen a lot of people using that recently too. But these are all up to you and the perks I've got on attack mass because personally I don't like the um, the hand thing that comes up and if you get stunned that's a very uh, you're at a very like vulnerable point when that goes on so this this counters that uh, scavenger because I don't really like these perks and also ghost because I want to be staying off the radar because there's a lot of UAV spam at the moment you could also put ninja on but I haven't unlocked it yet so you can flip between the two choose your favorite one whichever one works for you best i'll probably end up going for ninja because i like to run around a lot so this will keep me quiet because footsteps are also very loud in this game as well you get sound hoard quite a lot it's up to you and then gunfighter i've got because it gives you the eight attachments if you like the iron sights you can switch gunfighter out for more perks or an extra grenade whatever you want whatever you want it's up to you those are the uh, the main attachments i'd recommend on this weapon that's basically it i've kept it under 10 minutes which is my aim so I hope you've enjoyed this uh, class setup video. If you would like me to do any more class setups, I can always give it a go. I've, I'm always into trying new weapons out. It's only a bait after all, so we still haven't got the full game. If you've enjoyed this video, let me know. I'm always, I'm always open to receiving good criticism. Not bad criticism, though. If you didn't like it, just keep it to yourself, please. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you lads in the next video. Cheers.